We're ready to go. Welcome <laughs> to the three, three wise, wise women. Yeah. Our <laughs> morning coffee talk or tea. Today is January 29th, and the title of Simple Abundance is Your Personal Treasure Map. <laughs> For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. That's Matthew 6.21. No self-respecting, saw-buckling buccaneer would set out in search of a buried treasure without a map. Why should you? A personal treasure map is a collage of your ideal life that you create as a visual tool to focus your creative energy in the directions you wish to go. First of all, you'll have to visualize your ideal life. Take a moment to get quiet and go within. Close your eyes. Now see how you live and who lives with you. What does your dream house look like? What part of the country is it in? Do you have children? How many? What type of garden do you have? That's important. Is there a gazebo in the backyard? A swimming pool? Do you have any pets? What kind of car is in part of the driveway? What kind of job do you have? Are you publishing your own newsletter? Directing a future film? Or raising thoroughbred horses? Now we'll see if you can find pictures and images to match your ideal ones. Cut them out and create a collage on an 8 by 10 inch piece of poster board. If you can't find images to match your dreams, tap into the creative depths within and draw a picture. When you're finished, find a photograph of yourself that is especially like, that you especially like. Make sure it is a picture of you looking radiant and happy. Cut yourself out and place yourself in the center of the treasure map. When making your personal treasure map, think fun, think delight, think seven years old. This is not an intellectual exercise in. Existentialism. <laughs> Sorry, I was seven for a second. <laughs> okay. This is a wish list to the universe. Our deepest wishes are whispers from our authentic selves. We must learn to respect them. We must learn to listen. Put your ear down next to your soul and listen hard. The poet Anne Sexton advises, above all, remember that no one needs to be privy to your personal treasure map but you. Our wishes for the future, our hopes, our dreams, our aspirations, are our trust, truest treasures. Guard yours in the sanctuary of your heart. Keep your personal treasure map in the back of your illustrated discovery journal and look at it often. We talked about it yesterday. <clears throat> when you do, give thanks for the wonderful life you are leading. The greatest secret to living a happy and fulfilled life is the realization that everything is created in our minds before it manifests itself into the outer world. You must believe it before you can see it. You have to know what you're digging for before X can mark the spot. And I am reading from Shakti Gawain's Reflections in the Light, Daily Thoughts and Affirmations, January 29th, A Source Deep Within. As we explore the process of creating our own reality, mm -hmm. we begin to realize that the creative power we are feeling is coming from some source other than our personality, ego selves. It seems to come from some place deep within ourselves. We become interested in discovering what this creative force is and how it works. We realize that it, our higher self, knows more than I, our personality self. We find out what the inner guidance is telling us and follow it. I feel creative power coming from deep within me. Mm. Just okay. <clears throat> I'm reading from Everyday Mind, 366 Reflections on the Buddhist Path. Okay, go. Okay. January 29th. There's a Zen story in which a man is enjoying himself on a river at dusk. He sees another boat coming down the river toward him. At first, it seems so nice to him that someone else is also enjoying the river on a nice summer evening. Then he realizes that the boat is coming right toward him, faster and faster. He begins to get upset and starts to yell. Hey, hey, watch out! For Pete's sake, turn aside! But the boat just comes faster and faster right toward him. By this time, he's standing up in his boat, screaming and shaking his fist. 
and then the boat smashes right into him. He sees that it's an empty boat. This is the classic story of our whole life situation. Pema Chodron, start where you are. Mm. Obviously, the lesson being, don't get angry at the boat that's coming at you. Get out of the way! (laughs) (laughs) Uh, All right. (laughs) Signing off. Balance and blessings. Peace, love, and... Wisdom. Wisdom. Blessings. What was it yesterday? We said peace, love, joy. Peace, love, joy, and wisdom. From the three wise women. Meow, meow. And remember plans. <laughs>